Hi, this video is about creating general ledger business unit using PeopleSoft Fluid. Fluid technology made it really easy to create a new business unit in general ledger. Let's start with going to finance accounting. Here you will notice the style general ledger business unit. Let's click on it. It will give you option to search any existing BU or creating a new business unit. So let's click on add and see the feature. We are going to create a new business unit, let's say TST02 and it will ask some questions. Based on that it will create a left side navigation, all the steps that you need to complete to create a new business unit. So in this video we are not going to talk about the nitty gritties of creating a business unit for general ledger but just to give an idea that how it works with the fluid technology. So you can see that number of questions there for example does this business unit require a new ledger be created, does this business unit require a new ledger group to be created. If you want all these things you keep them yes else you can keep them no. Let's say I don't want to create a ledger and ledger group so keep it no and uh, click next. Based on your previous answers it will ask some more questions. Advanced features for example does this business unit require additional ID number, does this business unit require uh, utilize average daily balance etc. So these questions can be your initial questions to gather information for business unit for a general ledger as well. Once you will go to next, it will create a left side navigation with all the required step now to perform uh, to create your business unit. This star sign will give you an idea what is a mandatory setup required and what are other features to be set up. So you need to just fill the form based on whatever information you need and once it is done your business unit will be created. For example I want default set ID let's say share and business unit currency USD keeping everything as it is click save. Now you can see that there is a right mark that I have completed these steps. Just move to the next steps. These steps are not mandatory but you can check whatever you want. So once you will start going to these pages it will mark as visited, visited because these are not required so you can just visit them, make any changes if required and move on. Then ledger for a unit is important to be set up for creating a new business unit. So you click on assign ledger group, select the ledger group to be assigned. Let's say we assign the ledger group recording as the primary ledger, select it, use the calendar ID monthly and save it. A ledger group must be selected at the journal generator default. Okay, this checkbox to be set up for primary ledger, click save. So it will complete your step. So you need to perform all the steps required. Once it is done, you can submit to complete and it will create your business unit. You can even search now. Just make sure your list type is all not favorite when you try to search. So TST02 is available now. You can click and see the procedure or whatever options you have selected while creating it. So this is an interesting and easy way of creating general ledger business unit. That's all in this presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.